It's not supposed to be hard to color grade S-Log3. In today's video, I'm breaking down how you can color grade S-Log3 footage in Adobe Premiere in the easiest way I know of using the built-in tools. And I will give you guys a free S-Log clip so you can grade along with me and hopefully learn easier. So without further ado, my name is Christian. Thank you guys for stopping by. Let's go. The first thing I always do when I color grade is to convert my S-Log3 footage to Rec. 709. In this case, I use my own a lot that you can download for free. Link in the description below as well. There's different ways of applying a lot like this but for me the right way to go about this is to add a new lumetri color effect and the reason why you want to add a new uh, lumetri color effect is because now you have two panels and the reason why you want to have two of these is because now you can apply the lut to the, the last one and then apply all the adjustments to the first one so just rename this to lut so i always know that this is the lut and you can rename this to let's say uh just all right, so now we have two tabs here, one for the LUT and one for the adjustment. So we can go to the LUT and we can add my LUT right here. I have two LUTs. You can download both these LUTs in the description below. Uh, the first one is just a conversion LUT and the second one, this one that I use for this grade, is a conversion LUT with a grade to it. Boom. As you can see, this is a little bit too dark, uh, but there is not a lot we have to do to make this look good go to the adjustments, not the LUT, because like I said, if you grade on this panel right here, then you are affecting the LUT and not the clip itself. So make sure to be on the first one here and you can drag up the exposure. So as you can see, if I drag up the exposure on this tab, you can see that the clip is looking good, right? But if I do the same when I go into the LUT panel here where the LUT is, you can see that it's not the same. It's not doing the same thing because you are, like I said, uh, affecting the LUT and not the clip itself. So make sure to always be on the first tab here. And I don't know why, but sometimes if you jump from clip to clip and you go back, boom, you can see now I'm thrown back to the last uh, lumetri color effect, which is something to be aware of when you're color grading because if you start grading here, things will not be the same. All right, so go to the adjustments and here, of course, I have to drag up the exposure. I'll drag it up to, let's say, 0 0.7, and then I can drag down some shadows to create contrast on this image. This is way too much, of course. Let's drag this back to, let's say, uh, 19, okay? And then I can drag down the blacks a little bit to create a little bit more contrast in this image. Uh, okay, 29, and I can drag up the whites a little bit to create that punch. Not so much, just a little bit. Let's say to, okay, this is looking really good already. Look at this, boom. And we haven't done a lot to this image. You can just leave it at this, but I actually wanted to create this uh, moody, warm tone to this image. So what I did here was to go up to the temperature slider and I dragged it up quite a bit, let's say 11.3. As you can see, if I take this to zero, you can see the difference. This is before and this is after applying this warmth to the image. I really love this warm tone. And uh, what you could do though, is to go into the saturation and drag this a little bit down if it's too much for your taste. But uh, yeah, I think that leaving it at 93 in saturation is a good number. This is looking amazing. And what we could do next then is to just copy all these adjustments and then drag them over to this clip right here add you know all these tweaks and as you can see this is way too warm inside because yeah all these warm lights was hitting his uh, coat so what we could do here is to again make sure you go to the adjustments drag this temperature slider a little bit back here like let's say like so and it's still a little bit too warm inside for my taste um, but if i drag this further down you can see that it's getting cooler outside as well so to make this even better, we can go into the uh, curves and uh, we can uh, make sure to hit this hue versus saturation and we can tap the coat like this. And now we are basically affecting the warm tones of this image. 
And as you can see, if I drag this all the way down, you can see that it's doing too much. Uh, but if you just drag it a little bit down like so, this is looking way better. The before, after, before and after. If you pay attention to his coat there, I can zoom in a little bit. You can pay attention to this coat. This is before, after, before and after. I think this is looking way better. So now these clips are more cohesive. They still got that warm tone. What I actually could do to make this a little bit more similar is to add a little bit more warmth, it's like so. Yeah, this is looking amazing. Both these clips are now matching and uh, I'm really enjoying the look. And um, the other clips you saw in the intro, I basically did the same thing. I just adjusted the temperature, made sure to go into the adjustments, I adjusted the temperature to the cooler side or the warmer side, depending on the white balance of the image. And also dragged up the exposure, the blacks and the shadows, just a little bit to tweak everything to make it look cohesive and uh, similar. That is it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Like if I get one comment, you made my day, for real. I just feel good when I can help somebody and when people show appreciation thank you if you have any questions you know what to do have a beautiful day peace